Ever dropped a full bottle of olive oil on the floor? Not nice thing. Seriously, not a nice thing. Uh, isn't that three years of bad luck? Isn't it seven? No, Only that's five? Not, that seven is mirrors. It gives you bad luck. Oil? I thought that was five? I, I, a bottle. I thought it was just giving you Americans. What? Hmm? Oil everywhere. America. Uh, <laughs> in that case, I should have been invaded an hour or two ago. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way. America. Fuck yeah. Is that from the, that ad? Come again to save the motherfucking world, yeah. We lost. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We lost to a chicken. <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> Last place, Euro me. Eurovision Song Festival. Oh, I don't watch that shit at me all. Me neither. But apparently, I didn't a watch last one. one. The only reason why I even know it exists is because of memes. Exactly. Uh, yeah, we well, I know, we I know got Mary watched it, but we got last place. Yeah, I didn't know. What did Germany get? Last place in what? Eurovision Song Festival. Yeah, Fantastic. we got we got first place last year, and this year we got last place. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. I've just been scrolling 9 gig and all I see is that oh, fucking chicken won. <laughs> and that Denmark was Vikings because Mary showed me that. They had amazing beards. They had amazing beards is what Mary just shouted from across the room. Yeah, now we heard that. Oh, I remember the meme where those guys like. Uh, oh, yeah, the Ginju <laughs> Force from Hungary. <laughs> There were some Dragon Ball guys, apparently. That's, that's what, what, that's, that's, what, that's what I said, the Ginju Force. <laughs> Germany did something? Mary? What? What did Germany do this year? Germany did send their German version of Ed Sheeran. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. This doesn't sound they as did a German as version of a British person? And the poor lady from the UK got assaulted by a dude screaming about Nazis. Oh, and apparently UK got a got some Nazi cuck stealing her microphone. Wow. Oh. Interesting. What? Some uh, bastards ran up stage, stole the microphone, and started shouting about Nazis and shit, and about how the UK should be completely free and shit. Well, they sound like major trolls. Sounds like UKIP. Uh, le last year, one guy ran up the stage. Yeah, close. naked. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That guy's a troll too. Yeah. I wonder if they pay those guys just to get more food. <sighs> Next year, it's going to be in Israel, apparently. Yeah, so no. Oh, going. yeah. Israel, that thing in Europe, right? <laughs> That's definitely in Europe. <laughs> of course. I mean, a lot of them I mean, were once European. Like Australia, London, Australia was in Europe. Is yeah, in Europe, totally. of course. Totally. Totally at, Europe. No, at least Australia has a good reason to be in Eurovision. They still have the British flag on the top left of theirs, so they're still part of England. <laughs> they are. Uh, a few generations of, uh, uh, ago, people from Israel also lived in Europe, in Germany, a lot of them, but yeah, stuff in happens. <laughs> you know. Remember when Germans anyway, were nice and we <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember. remember the German dream. <laughs> remember when they were nice people and gave all of those Jews really nice houses and baths. I thought they only gave showers. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so, uh, they have great parties. <laughs> they even had smoke machines. Okay, enough with the Nazi jokes. Not even funny. 
Why did you have to join at the second moment when I said Nazi jokes? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice the time, my bad. Yeah, I'm just after adding for Penway, so that's what I joined right now. I'm eating anyway. Oh, so am I. Have a bowl of mac and cheese and Pepsi in a glass. Well, good that you don't have to talk a lot. That's me. <laughs> so we don't. Yeah, my character right on... checks. Yeah. Uh... Or at least a reply from Jax. Yeah, we mm. can keep making Nazi jokes. No, I don't want to get banned. <laughs> even though <laughs> I, yeah, you're I, streaming. Even though I do make these jokes, guys, I do not condone this sort of behavior <laughs> in accordance to Twitch guidelines. Blah blah blah. Don't sue me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the same as on Dragon Stream. I do not tolerate this behavior, but it is funny. <laughs> Though on Dragon Stream it was me and Quincy making the Nazi and uh, inappropriate jokes. Alright, uh, by the way, Lamb says he's on indefinite leave because of, uh, GS, Exam. yeah, exams. G yeah. GCSE, yeah. Those. Yeah. Though he did show up on Discord a bit ago. Yeah. Because Akira said he was dead. Well, the server was dead. Yeah. But it is not. I mean, I have my A level exam tomorrow. Same. Or A one. <laughs> we're doing great revision wise. <laughs> I, I, should, I, should. I, I spent from eleven playing Breath of the Wild. I spend more time looking for revision materials than I have actually revising. I should be far. I have exams. In before in the A levels in maths, it's like you roll a d twenty. How um, probably. Calculate the probability of yes, I'm prepared for this. <laughs> yeah. All probability with dices. Roll a d20. How likely is it that the bard fucked everything up? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Horribly, horribly. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have any friendly parties? I don't think you have any friendly NPCs with you. Uh, no, we don't. Maybe. <laughs> the the only does, the de does the decapacitated glowing light count as an NPC? Yeah, so who has light? Uh, I can cast light, but uh, he, oh, yeah, used it, he used it uh, on the snake. also has a head with white on. Yeah, that you are currently carrying around, right? Yes. Okay. There uh, we go. Now all of you can see the light. No. Well, that doesn't really affect me since my, re <laughs> my range or vision or past it. Yeah, see, I have uh, 40 feet of light. Uh, 20 feet of proper light, dim light after that. Yeah, but Derp had some issues with setting light and dim light. I, I know how to do light and dim light, I don't understand how to give you guys sight. Ah. Properly, so I don't know the uh, like just a human sight line. I don't know how long or far you can see, so I'm going off dark vision and then half uh, of that for normal people. Regular light, just on daylight you can see up to a mile, and the, the sensors, dark light, low light vision, are basically just low light would be dim light for distance given and dark vision for the same but for no light or barely so basically and dark vision just improves it by one right yeah by one sense of light and then yeah. there's also blind vision tremor vision true sight well around Leicester there should be 20 feet of bright light from 
the light spell, and then he can see up to 60 feet, and that's all dim light. And my proper vision has now disappeared. Seriously? Yes. Fuck that, never mind. <laughs> I can't even see myself on the map. Also, it, uh, it should be around Asa, because he's the one holding the light. Why are the two Asa, by the way? Because I dragged mine in to see okay. if it worked. There we go. I don't even know how to do that. But you go to the journal, so the newspaper tab, and you drag your name onto the field. Uh, uh, Ulven, how much health do you have? Uh, me? Yeah. Uh, let me think. Did I lose any? No, it's your token currently has you as 18 HP. Really? Holy dear, which is pretty low. I have 45 at max. Yeah. That's more than double yours. That. 22. That's my total. I have no idea why it was 18, though. Yeah, I've set mine. Just because you haven't updated the. I've set mine to 45 again. But I'm gonna guess it's gonna be edited again when I drag it in next time. Yeah, I'm gonna real quick update the tokens. Ah, we're sharing site now. There you go. Uh, yeah. You guys can only see Lester's light. Yeah, you mean the light I have on me. Yeah, all of you can see in your own light, and then less everyone can see Lester's. You okay? Why can we see Lester's? Because he's got the light spell. He cast the light spell on the head that I have. I saw oh, that you have. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Guy, I and, said it is. That and I said Asa should get it since he's holding the light. Yeah, and it's a forty feet radius. My all is kind of. So. It, well, I it, it's of... actually 20 plus 20 dim. Yeah, it's uh, 20 good light, 20 dim light after that. Did, mm -hmm. you, did you just lose your sight? Ah, so? Yeah, it's now 40. Right. Also, with my owl, is it okay if I just have day of vision, or would it be like I have to say, okay, I am now looking through the eyes of my owl and then get that vision? Or just don't get that vision at all because it's like uh, kind of OP, you, I guess. You, you you can see through your owl's eyes, right? Well, oh yeah, but like there not both at the same time, not through my eyes and the owl. Hey, so basically, it's... I'm saying I have closed my eyes. My owl sits on my shoulder, and I'm looking through her eye. Yeah, so you can see. He both. has to transfer so, his sight, basically. Yeah. So as long as you and your owl aren't within the same range. Or your owl is always on top of your shoulder. Yeah, okay, then let's do or this. Or you could just be blinking. Or... That way you <laughs> see both. You <laughs> probably would get a headache. <laughs> Close one eye to see through your owl's eyes. <laughs> you, would, you would be running into every single wall. <laughs> Imagine the poor owl. They can only see with one eye. Like, no, wait. Owls usually use the... You do realize that when, when one person, like, loses sight in one eye, they, they have trouble with yeah. perception. It's called which mean, vision. They lack, Which means... They lack depth. Which means our guards will be running into everything. Not really. <laughs> yes. I have my eyes closed. My owl's eyes are wide open. It's sitting on my head. Yeah, he, okay. can, just, he can just see through his owl's eyes. Okay. And I can still walk. Well, I hope I can. I mean, I can't, like, yeah, I steer my owl's movement. I can just give it commands. Yeah, you're basically only transferring your sight. You can be guided by other people, but if you're using your owl, like it's on top of your head, then you can use it as a pair of eyes, just above your usual head. Yeah, you're just a taller, uh, you're just a taller midget now. Hmm. Can I have three <laughs> basic and also I have 360 vision uh, like it rotates his head like the radar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like I just 
What? 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 You should just start what? using like a coat and using your howl as a head all the time. I mean, have you looked at my character picture? Dude, he means it as if, as if a second Kenku. What? My race, the crow people. But you're, like if, you're a subspecies, I... an owl people. No. You, you just have an, a coat that would cover your face and you just use the owl as your head. I like that idea. At one point I'm gonna do that. That's it. That's a freaking um, yeah, disguise. A, a guy starts anyway. shouting at you and you just turn your head backwards like, <laughs> you what, bitch? First, we're talking shit. <laughs> that reminds me of that one comic where, like, there's like animals. Uh, oh, yeah. and why one, owls are the best. Why, then... why owls are the best yeah. guards. <laughs> Snap the hat. That's Rotate the hat. Looks at him. You walk, mate. <laughs> anyway, can we like do stuff? <laughs> yeah. I assume Jack guys... is not coming. Or we can just start with that one. Mm. So, all of you guys are on the mission to... You guys were hired as bodyguards for the doors. Uh, when, when you arrived at the mines, it seemed abandoned, and most of the doors who were previously there have perished. You went to find the source of why they died, and maybe discover what's happening in this area, to which you went through a very, very heavily booby-trapped mine eventually ending up at a group of Silithar who then attacked you. After successfully uh, vanquishing the Silithar, you have now gone down some uh, a staircase leading to a lower section of the mine. Okay. Let's wrap. no. I want to check four traps! <laughs> Yeah, I don't trust stairs. I've seen some stairs that could be trapped. Stairs. We are already down the stairs. Oh, you mean that thingy in front of us? Yeah, the stairs right in front of us. Yeah, because you can call the stairs. But they are always up to stairs. something. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Let me guess, I don't see any traps. Uh, yeah, you don't see much. There's no traps? Okay. Owl is very good at seeing a bell, but it's not good at seeing Yeah, it's, it's totally safe. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is totally fine. Yeah, there's nothing, right? Okay, good. Okay. I want to look for stuff. Shiny stuff. Okay. Okay, what do I roll? If you're just looking around... If, you if look you're for looking for specific items, investigation, if you're just looking at the area perception. Oh, you, you're technically, you said, look for shiny. So yeah, shiny, so that'd be investigation. Wouldn't that just be looking around to see if something reflects light? Yeah, perception. I mean, we have a light source. He's actively trying to find it, which is investigation. Perception is just casual oh. glancing over things. No, that's passive. Oh, no. That's what perception, yeah. perception is what you pick up, actually. Perception is what you Investigation is, is bad, connecting bad. stuff. Yeah, like for example that you see the tracks on the floor and marks on uh, the other side and you realize, oh, that's a trap because there, it looks like there yeah, has Perception is looking around, the investigation is searching. And that's best, basically the difference. And passive perception is what you see, hear, smell, whatever. By simply standing and not actively looking, actually yeah, there's nothing. looking, just rotating your head to look at things is perception. Investigation is in depth. Be, doesn't seem to be anything in this area. It seems to be a just a, a cave area with some crudely etched staircases. Okay, okay. there's nothing here. Let's go. You I want, want to go, go up? I'm gonna go up search for a chest down. around here. I will go to the left, right here, and then I will do an auto perception. Derp. Yeah. I want to check for a chest around here. You guys can move around with the, the arrow keys. Move around. I'm keeping time. Okay. 
Uh, every time you like, uh, I'll I'll tell you if you need to roll. This intro. <laughs> okay. Uh, this okay. looks like, this looks like progress. Yeah. <laughs> this. Why does this also? This looks like a dead end, or my map is uh, too far. The, um, what is that thing? Okay. Well, as you turn the corner, you see a large, intricately designed brazier. It is currently unlit, but you see a large metal bowl filled with uh, what appears to be some form of ashes. Way. Light it. Yes. Stop talking. <laughs> You, Fire. Should, you throw your magic, and before it even reaches the bit, brazier, it bursts out. It seems to have some form of magical spell preventing fire, specifically, reaching the brazier. Right, the brazier the I want to do a perception right? check on that open area. I want to assist okay. him, so he gets advantage. Uh, roll with advantage, yeah. With advantage. Can I quickly check traps? Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, perception or investigation? Uh, investigation, because you're looking specifically for the traps. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks. So, you guys look nice. It seems. Here, like, for traps. Oh, perception. You see okay. a, another very intricately carved brazier with a, a steel dome over top. And you see two pressure plates right in front of it. Wait, did we just accidentally split uh, up a thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, where are the treasure? No, not treasure. Uh, pressure plates. Can you mark them on the map? Yeah. It's... Why can I see a little bit of yeah. that here? Wait, because what? you can see my light source, right? It's probably because this line yeah, of sight exists. Okay. Those two, okay. Uh, I want to the... throw a rock at it. I was gonna I mean, check. I was gonna check if they're trapped or what the okay, mechanism do that to is. Uh, I won't throw a rock while you're standing on. I have proficiency in the teeps tools. Yeah. So I'm but, gonna uh, use those for uh, to check for, to investigate the mechanism. It's a dex roll. Yeah. Would you that? Wouldn't that be Tinker Tools? No, Tinker is uh, just this is for disarming traps and investigating how they're set up. So, cool. Go ahead. You open. You manage to just pry uh, the the pressure plate up a tiny bit, so you're able to see inside. But the mechanism is far beyond your skill. Mm. Fire can approaching. Mm. Don't you fucking dare throw a fireball! Mm. What is what happening? Character? What exactly am I looking at? All right, I'm gonna do a stupid. Okay. Really? Okay. Okay. So yeah. I go one step back. <laughs> Just go with lesser. Go with lesser. Uh, roll perception. Right. Okay. Uh, 11 plus... Uh, 14. Okay. You look up into the brazier and it just seems to be dark embers. Uh, around you, there seem to be several vases that you go over and inspect and they feel to be, seem to be filled with water. How many vases are there? Uh, about four. Right. Ah, so what were you doing? I'm gonna do a stupid. <laughs> Go ahead. I am going to step on the both pressure plates at the same time. That's one continuous pressure plate, by the way. Oh, it's one, one large pressure plate. plate. Then I'm just yeah. hopping on top of the large pressure plate. <laughs> the brazier instantly gets burst, burst into flame. Let me guess what happens now. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not Ash living is running this place. From fire? No, he's running towards it. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one that when there's fire and he screams run, he's running towards the fire and yeah. away from it. Do we need to set up a light source there now, or? 
Where where's the fire? Is uh, it on top of on, us? on top of the brazier? So like the brazier is about uh, eight foot tall, and on top of that is a uh, oh, iron brazier, cast semicircle, this one. which is now lit on fire. Not the not not anything yeah. here. There's yeah. basically a. Pillar. This is the brazier. Oh okay. Yeah, there's basically a pillar here that's eight foot tall and on fire. Okay. So you guys the make beacons... it burn more. The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have any effect. Okay. Except the fire, you mean? No, no. The magic is flame. Uh, it's magical fire. Oh. That's the only way why control flames wouldn't work. <laughs> Just keep um, it on me. Guys, fire. this isn't real fire. I feel betrayed. Right? Magic is real. So oh, Really? Not? Magic's real? You were a thought. Uh, I'm stepping off the pressure plate. I'm, I'm, and I'm I want to pull Fell with me off the pressure plate. No, if uh, Fell resists, it's gonna be a athletics versus athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. So <laughs> oh my god, roll again. <laughs> uh, that was perfect. Fuck you, you're coming with me. <laughs> what the heck? Acid just takes the scruff of um, Felfit's neck and because of his cat heritage, he just goes limp and he just throws him off the pressure plate. And uh, the second his foot leaves, <laughs> the fires go out. The fact that it only was decided by a net 20 instead of 2020. God damn it. So it's as I expected. You guys are really evenly matched. You know Can what? I check for traps again? Punch him for this new uh, area. Kitty, go for it. Go, go sit on the pressure plate oh and watch the flame. I shall punch. Roll ass. to hit. Roll to hit. Bare hands or with a weapon. Natural. No, I I have natural claws. I can do <laughs> one. Yeah. So that's uh. Okay. Twenty plus strength. <laughs> uh, that's below my AC. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Point two. It was. Uh, it was mine as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to ask uh, Ash something. Um. By the way, my feline friend, you did go the other way in the cave, right? What was there? A thing. I. Tr a thing similar to this. I think. Uh, okay. Interesting. But I tried to put it on. I. I tried to make it burn. And I couldn't. Wait, did you step? So there was also a pressure plate. Did you step on it alone? A, a pressure plate? No, I threw I threw fire at it. Uh, I mean, I guess to be fair, that's usually what you do to try to lit something on fire. But anyway, I will go to the other side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you you just stay there. So, so. Uh, 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 if you want to look around, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I just was like going to go there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling him, him to stay on the pressure plate so the fire stays lit. Okay. Going so, in, going out, going in, going uh, out. Roll, roll perception in that area. Mm -hmm. This area. Yeah. Oh. I'm fucked, aren't I? What's with my shit rolls? You see... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you got see, that um, Basically, uh, nothing but the pillar, aside from off to one side, specifically this side, mm -hmm. is... Um, it seems to be that the, the wall and the roof has collapsed in some uh, decades ago, and has just collapsed in this rubble all along that side of the wall. Okay. So, Lester, you see this, um, the same uh, sort of style of brazier, but this one, it appears to have uh, etchings onto it of um, some form of rune. Uh, and above the, the brazier itself, 
and it seems to be some sort of contraption hanging above it. Can I do an arcana check? Go for it. Cool. Uh, oh, that's that's amazing. Twenty six. The runes are definitely linked to what it, whatever is hanging above it. I'm Sorry. jumping onto the. Can I, oh wait, can I, I see what, exactly the thing that's hanging above is. Perception. Uh, okay. Uh, ten. You see a faint glow of light from the top of the this um sort of like sort of vase looking thing strapped with ropes. Just see a faint light, but that's can't say conclusively. Would it be possible for me to try and jump up and grab it? Uh, no. It's like, the brazier is eight feet tall, which you could probably climb. But right. then there's a good, Absolutely. another, just uh, eight foot of open air in between. Okay. Hmm. Um, anyway, what's the yellow square? Brazier. Yeah, this yeah. one is... A, another bra so all the, the yellow squares are these um, intricately designed braziers. Yes. This one around it are um, four vases filled with water. Okay. So there must be a hint somewhere in the room. Uh, yeah, Ash, as you leave the pressure plate, the fire goes out. I would like to investigate those vases and those brazier thing. The Word. Uh, you yeah, don't know, the, the water or the brazier itself? I disengage. <laughs> um, I look at the vases that have water in them. Okay. They okay. seem to just, they seem to be similar in design to the brazier itself. It seems to be carved with lots of um, almost snake-like patterns, twisting around, creating scale effects. But they just seem to be vases filled with water. I want to... Um... How is the word? Pour the vases of water. Or let's do one of them into the brazier to see what happens. As you tip uh, the the vase in, the water goes down into it, and you see steam begin to emanate, and then the water vanishes. Interesting. Uh, I. So, did I pour a whole vase in there, right? Yeah, one, you poured all of one of them. Okay, then I will do the second one, I guess. To see if anything changes. So you're basically just saying, I'm pouring all the vases one by one? Yeah. In case it's something like, I don't know. It's, if it's, I don't know. So you pour in the second one? Yes. Second one again, more steam. It's a consistent steam now, but the water again vanishes. Okay, then the third, then the fourth. Okay. As you do the third one, the water vanishes, the steam just suddenly stops. There's a moment of silence, and then <clears throat> the, the brazier is lit again. So Wait, no. after the third? Yeah, just the, at the third one, the fire lit, lights itself. So don't pour the fort in. I want actually to like dip my finger in one of the uh, like in the one that's still full and taste if it's actually water or oil or something. It tastes like water, but like really old, dirty water. I spit it out. Continue with the next one. <laughs> like no, I mean, wouldn't that in my turn basically? <laughs> wouldn't that pressure now be a light source? It, it would. Yes, we give you a second. So, uh, Lester, as you mm -hmm. turn this corner, you see another one of the sorcerer types of Sidlitha that you've uh, encountered before, just uh, guarding this direction. You see this brazier is now lit. Uh, as you come around this corner, you see this brazier light on fire. Oh. All right, so... If I, like, sneak around, do I see if the rest are lit or not? Uh, none of the rest of them are. Ah, interesting. Yes, Fel, I can see you. 
This doesn't count as a token, so I can't give it the light property. Just you can just place an uh, object, right? Yes, I can. All right. Radio hyena. Oh my God! There's hyena in the bracer. I'm gonna cast invisibility. Okay. okay. So okay. I like the invisible. Oof. There. You cast a spell in your data site. Yes, Ash. I want okay. to cast Minor Illusion right here and make a big shout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He's just fucking with me. <laughs> Asa can see me. Asa, roll a wisdom saving throw. Ash, what's your spell? Oh, wait, piece? it's 30 feet. Never Never fuck. Mind, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, thank, thank fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait yeah. a moment! Wait a moment! I can do it here. <laughs> can do it here. Yeah. Asta can oh. still hear. It. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Asa, in front of you sounds the most terrifying creature <laughs> you think you've ever heard in your entire life, and you are scared shitless at this. Uh, roll for Constitution save. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God I don't shit my pants. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's the, you see, these two seem um, are the almost identical uh, armor and weaponry as the one that you faced before. This one right. seems to have more uh, ceremonious armor. Seems to be of a higher rank. Ah, would they hear it? Like, oh, okay. right. it's like okay. from that from that range, the sound has to go all the way around. It's but it, it was a big scream, like I'm a lion go. kind of. <laughs> lion it robot. would like I'm a go for, for it would echo, like yeah, for kilometers. <laughs> On end. Uh, sound for okay. like or if boom. Yeah, are you saving from? <laughs> boom. <laughs> so uh, volume can the... range from a whisper to a scream. Yeah. And someone else's voice, lion roar, beating drum. This so... brazier is unlit, but there is a. Uh, <laughs> A metal torch in this square. So basically, what you just did was cause an explosive sound that bounced all the way. Right. Okay. And so there's a torch, and then there's a thing to be lit. I think. Yeah, most... there's a brazier here and an iron torch. I think most sounds are yeah. 120 feet, by the way. But seeing how this amplifies, or at least echoes, well, I know this. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, okay now, now I'm gonna be running into us and say, RUN! There's a monster! RUN! So, <laughs> Lester, um... Quickly, as, while while, while you were in that uh, area, you yeah. heard an echoing noise of a terrifying creature, and as you run back towards this area, you see the... the... Silitha begin to, like, get scared and begin to look around. And become prepared. <laughs> oh, uh, I also them. want oh. to run towards the back and see what's happening. All the way to them. So I should roll deception, I guess. No, I did. Did. Oh, what? deception, yeah. There's what? a monster! Run! Do you want to inside check that? Or I was are gonna... you just trusting? No, I was gonna ask with my filled, literally filled wisdom save. Would it even matter? Because I'm super scared right now. I think you're, you're super scared, but you don't trust Ash. So <laughs> I feel like that cancels it out. Derp, I, I, yeah. I want to touch uh, uh, Ash's shoulder <laughs> and say, <laughs> Ash, you're still going to get stabbed if you find Just grab his problem. shoulder and shout through his fucking ear. <laughs> As Ash is running towards you, Asa, your mind is just racing all the terrible things that could be Later, bitches! Right you, you turn around to run, and you feel a touch against you, and you just fall out flat on your ass, scrambling away, and eventually getting to your feet and just bolting in this direction. <laughs> I, 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 I was gonna bolt upstairs, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, meanwhile, oh. I'm just looking around where the fuck this monster is supposed to be. <laughs> uh, the sound was around... 
Like here? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. This area. But, I mean, this, it's this, not that this, easy this, to make out area. where sound is coming from in. No. So, uh, so in this open space. You in SSI, just... I, it came somewhere from here, and yeah. I just came bring, running. Yeah. It's an investigation intelligence versus Felfit's spell DC, which no, I, it's uh, yeah, which is, I believe is a seventeen or an eighteen. No, it's a fifteen. DC uh, 16, sixteen to to see the the image, not to believe my lie, because my yeah. lie is something else. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to ask Ash. Where is it? What is it? It's down there. In the brazier. What? It jumps out of, of the fire. Do I roll? Did I do an inside roll? Usually yeah, I get it. It's, open my... it's the same deception. Right. Yeah. If you want well, to believe I... him, roll inside. Derp, derp. Can I, I have actually this moment? believe him because my character is more of the bad at oh. reading people type. Okay. So you just ignore the inside and just accept it. Yeah. I just accepted. I am dead. Uh, global. That's a word. So yeah, that's what you do. I, I want to go up to <laughs> right beside <laughs> Ulven and just yell "boo" right beside him. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with that. What? Okay. It would be intelligent. <laughs> Asa, what did you say? Get scared was. Uh, so it was investigation. Wisdom. No, right. investigation. Oh. Is... Investigation is for checking. If it's a my look, if it's an illusion, yeah. No, if, oh, it, if it's an illusion, he's yeah. invisible. Yeah. I can see. Invisible. So yeah. So then, uh, Ulven rolled a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom, wisdom save saving was saving indeed for getting t for the scared for the attack on the yeah. mind. Yeah. So wait, normal wisdom. Gotcha. Wisdom save. No. Oh, wisdom saving, saving throw. throw. Save. Yeah. It, it's against an attack. <laughs> it didn't matter. Save. Uh, well, actually, it does. Uh, yeah. It does. He, he, he would have had it. He gets plus, plus three to that. Yeah. So, so far, he, he rolled a fourteen. Doesn't matter. Let's take the last one. No first roll with the new set. With that's how. With it the oh, well, use whatever you want. Whatever. Fourteen. Uh, <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna roll. die from this. I hope so. <laughs> I could for a heart attack. <laughs> so, save 15. So yeah, you failed that. You just hit <laughs> beside you and oh, uh, already worried that there's a creature about to attack. You just go, and <laughs> comes from your right side. Uh, <laughs> I jump back and, and, and I um, do a ray of frost in the direction I just heard that from. <laughs> oh, oh, I was shit. expecting an enemy. Roll oh, for attack. Yeah. I mean, roll for attack. Oh, disadvantage. Please roll bad. Because mind. I don't no. see it. Yeah, it'd be disadvantage because you can't see what you're shooting at. Oh, yeah, it's a blind yeah. shot. Yeah, because I am invisible. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a ray of frost just decimates the side of this wall. And just misses everything. There's now pebbles from the ceiling begin to fall on your head. <laughs> right, so, hi. I'm invisible. <laughs> uh, right on ahead in the cave, there's uh, three more wizard guides. You know, the uh, sorcerer with the flame swords that we've just fought? <laughs> Wait, like what? creature! Run! No, Why I, I'm echo right now. There was a great uh, yeah. cave Yeah, you echoed, Lester. That was great, you should do that for the cave. <laughs> also, uh, echo. do you also, also no. accept Felfit's lie? Or do you no. plan to roll inside against it? Oh, I would roll inside against it. I've been playing along with, with it mostly. Just scared because I'm seeing the other two scared and just, yes, let me take advantage of this. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm mad at Pure stick move. Uh, 17. Versus Ash, perception. What? Ro roll again, because okay. before you were deceiving Ash, and now you're deceiving Lester. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> there is something coming very quickly, <laughs> and you are definitely about to die. <laughs> Cool. I'm saying... oh, like, so we have. <laughs> There's always gonna be a giant ass monster. We fought a dragon a couple times now. I'm not terribly scared. 
I've done worse things. So we have three lizards. Who's waiting? <laughs> so we're just gonna. At this point, I just fall to the ground. I start laughing in front of them. <laughs> okay. Right. I. I. Three. Li I didn't realize three lizards was such a funny word to say. I lie. Oven. You, you, you want to come with me to... Well, you can't actually see me. You, you want to follow my voice to fight some blizzards so we can get this thing done? Uh, so are you coming back? Or are you just staying? I'm gone. Going? Fuck this. I rolled two crit fills. I'm out. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look for ass. No, when, when you are all laughing, laughing on the ground, they're going up to you and kicking <sighs> you in the side. Good damn you asshole. Uh, roll to hit. <laughs> What's that even? Strength? Uh, it's, yeah, plus... it's, it's, a, one, it's a... It's one... It's a... It's a... It's a... Plus your strength. Yeah, it's a one melee, of you guys, please. It's a melee attack. With advantage, because he's on the ground. Yeah, so, it it's deals. a strength. D20. And it deals one plus... One no. plus your strength. No, that's... Why do a, I have to roll? That's just, just, unharmed attack. It's D, one plus your D20. strength. D20. I mean the plus damage. Strength. The damage is one plus strength of an arm. Yeah. An yeah, arm that he wants to know what he has to roll, <laughs> which is a d20 plus strength. Oh, sorry, that was accidentally twice. Yeah, uh, but it, it will. It's going My to strength is minus one. You so a eighteen, I think, is higher than Ash's AC. Yep. <laughs> but if you deal non-lethal damage, so if you just want to kick him for the goddamn it, Doth. Yeah. That's always one. What's your strength? Okay, do doesn't matter. He no, kick, he it's... kick. It non-lethal kick is always one damage, no, just My like a one lethal one punch. Damage. No, unarmed. So you just take a run up. Or well, it's it's one minus one, so it's like a minimum one, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Really? You can yeah. do zero damage. So I kick no, him in the side. He's only... actually kicking you. You can't do zero damage when he's actually hitting you. <laughs> I don't know, it so could be it's weak. It. <laughs> you just run up and just smash him right in the ribs as he's laughing. <laughs> Ash, you kind of lose your wind for a second there. He managed to come back and still laugh. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think we should go get the bird. What are you even thinking? <laughs> I, saw you, I saw him there and he couldn't what? see me. I, you guys, I, I just had to! God damn it, you guys are all useless. Go get the stupid bird. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, go get the stupid bird because of the cave. <laughs> As a roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, right, yeah. Let's see because I want to see you get another nat one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with that, you run up, you take all your movement to run up uh, out of the stairs, and you just cower beside um, the doorway to the stairs uh, in the shadows off to one side, just cowering in fear. Ah, since I'm in the shadows. Like in the feeder position. Yeah, roll still. Oh, <laughs> Eat shit and die! <laughs> Holy you fucking just shit. phase from existence. Well, good luck finding him. Yeah, good luck. God damn it. So, Ash, you you were going to see Asa. Thank you for yeah. that ring. Okay. Birdman. Oh, Birdman. And soon you say something like, "Was that a joke? I'm sorry." <laughs> I think me adding the uh, sudden touch from nowhere at the end of pushed a little bit too far at the end. Because <laughs> it made it actually feel as if it was actually real besides the sound. The beast is gone! <laughs> you can come out of the shadows! And I assume deception. <laughs> Uh, as a roll insight. I don't believe you, the beast is still there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Well, then, no, no, no. Uh, if you were telling the truth that there was no beast, then... No, I no, told him the beast, the beast was is, gone. The beast is gone. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess that... <laughs> it's lying. <never> true. <laughs> this is the truth. I guess it's lying. Bro, man, he's lying. He, he made up the entire thing. I just played on. That was, I'm invisible right now. No. That's yeah. why. Uh, so am I. Have you not seen my stealth? <laughs> yeah, but I'm literally invisible. That's the difference here. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> I'm still rolling insight on the statement that uh, that Lester made, just to see if I trust him. No, it's not a deception or yeah, it's persuasion. Yeah, I thought that was persuasion. Yeah, that would yeah, be persuasion. Uh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fourteen. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you believe me? Oh right, that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. So you believe the truth now? Yeah, I, I I'm gonna run <laughs> before you get stabbed. <laughs> so, I'm uh, out. How close is uh? <laughs> Well played. <laughs> anyway, we I, have. I, uh... I keep. I keep my stealth up. <laughs> okay, wherever you are, I, I, I mean, we're both voices at this point now. So yeah. there's three lizards I have found. Uh, there's the two other sorcerers, and I think one of them is more powerful. It seems to be more hangerig. So. I need everybody to come with me to fight these motherfuckers because I'm not doing that alone. Come if you want to live. <laughs> Wait a moment! Doesn't Hassa uh, did Hassa leave the the light behind? I can hide it under my shirt. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, yeah you you you, you don't have advantage it. with it, but sure. Yeah. Anyway, if, I don't have advantage because the ring. Yeah. So it, it's yeah, you know, like it the head is easy it. enough just to hide under like. It's was... shining. It's yeah, but he was lying over top of it. His entire well, uh, body was covering the light. Felfit, click oh. the light spell. Light. You're easy to see if you're. I light. should click it so we can see the, the, the spell card. I don't have it. Oh, uh, Lester has it. Yeah, Phantom. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Because I just want to. Four things that we have to do here. Yeah, I just wanted to point you out that on the spell yeah, card it, 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 it's a it's a it's yeah, so but if, if you if yeah, so doesn't matter if I'm invisible in the corner. Yeah, so you can't see her. Yeah, as you can not see me. Yeah, I current I currently have ten feet. You of just light. heard me. Anyway, uh, Lester said something to us, right? I didn't hear that, like as my character. No, I told you. He said, no, the same I he said the same thing to me as he said to you. Yeah, I just said a little bit more detail of one is more high rank yeah. compared to the other two. So, right. wait, basically, you said there are enemies up ahead, though, right? Yeah. Yes. And we made a lot of noise. Yes. Great. We are very aware of the current situation of the giant ass roar. Uh, I've put the hat of light in my explorer's pack backpack. So, can you set my light to 10 feet? Okay. <laughs> Any opaque object fully blocks a light spell. I know. I'm just trying so... to see how long does it go for. Yeah, but like, what's your vision? Uh, I have regular vision. So, that would be 30 dim light, which in turn is 10 dark light, uh, dark vision. Hmm. Is that good? Yep. And now I'm super sneaky. I'm also super. I'm also super slow. If you didn't notice. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You're just slinking from shadow to shadow. Each movement is incredibly slow. Why can we see Yes's light? 
because I had a light source. Yeah. So my lines of light were shared, but... Oh, it's, it's turned off now, right? Nope. That's the, the thing the thing I'm trying to point out. I can see SS light. There we go. Even if he hides it under somewhere, it's probably problematic. Let's just say you like... I've no, put, I've, fixed I've, it. I've, I've put a light source in my backpack. He fixed okay. it. Okay. Actually, do you find us and stuff like... Probably not. I well, there's only one next... place to go. No wait, I don't even see him in his stuff. So, yeah, whatever. No. I will just think I he can be... handle so. I will be guiding everybody with uh, my voice, just uh, guiding them all the way through this area. Yeah, nice here. To everybody wants to catch up very ever so slowly with snails. Uh, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you guys can just walk normally. I just need to stealth, so I can okay. move at half speed and move from shadow to shadow. I mean, we also can probably moving slowly because he said something about there being enemies. Yeah. I would get up to this point, and I would say, right behind this corner, there is another corner where all the enemies are. Okay. Mm. So if, if we want to come up with a plan of action, uh, this is the time to do it. I say we lure them here with some kind of, I don't know, with some kind of illusion. Wow. And then we blow him up. Okay. <laughs> How do we blow I was like... Up? That doesn't sound like you at all. <laughs> and then do we do that. Fire? No, never mind. I can hey. do them. Damn it, Argard. So okay. I was gonna so. step I was gonna step there. <laughs> Ash, do you have a fireball you can do? Wait, no. <laughs> what? Fireball why? Well, because it fireball. Because That's AoE. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I, I, also, I, you know, explosion. I, I can explode them all, yes. Yeah, with fireball. Okay. Okay. That's a plan. I can lure them since I'm invisible. I or mean, if uh, Yulvin wants Ulven to. Yulvin can make some kind of, I don't know. Sucker. Yeah, I'm already. You can make a turkey <laughs> or something like that. Sucker punch. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> no, bitch. I'm Wait, have thinking about with how I right, can do them without making them. Never mind. <laughs> I'm already thinking about an illusion that I can use to lure them out, but without alarming them that there would be an attack. I'm open to any ideas. What would you say? What would be something that is kind of normal in a cave that needs investigation, but it wouldn't look like? I don't know. A dwarf. Sleeping? What? They had oh. dwarfs. They killed dwarfs. Make a dwarf. Do I need to re-roll stealth or roll something yeah, like to maintain my stealth after, uh, that, after that failed attack? Yeah, you would. To, like attacking comes gets you out of stealth, so you would need to re-roll it. Yeah, mostly to see if I was detected by my two by my uh, flailing attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, that's also an advantage of twenty. Okay. <laughs> I actually want to do that. What he just said. Um, you you got a nat, you got a twenty, and you rolled under ten. Holy shit! Yeah, I have plus eleven. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You made him too OP. Something something skill monkey. Yeah. His nat twenty was thirty one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Thirty is supposed to be an impossible DC. <laughs> Try, you bitch. Or like near impossible. Ah. <sighs> I want to use. Oh, that's the. I'm advantage. glad you used advantage on this non damage spell. <laughs> <laughs> it was still on, okay? I want to use sound image. In the. I like the idea of. Um, in the image of a dwarf. And like. Wait, how then is you use, it? You use, the, use the minor illusion for, for the sound. Exactly. To complement it. Exactly. So I wanted to. Yeah. Walk down this path. And I don't actually have dwarf art, so I'm gonna give you this training dummy. Fair enough. As long as it looks like I use uh, the image of one of the dwarves we... There you go. You I should, should be able to image, control it. I used the image of the dwarf that had a different name than the others. And 
<laughs> oh, you mean Paul? Uh, I'm John. John, John was it? Okay. John. So I'm going to use the image of John. And the. <laughs> Wait, how far is my illusion again? You said 30 something? Yeah, 35. 30 yeah, 30 feet. Yeah, so I'm going to move a bit forward. So right here. Oh, now I can also see my draining dummy. So I will follow. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Sorry. Here so I will, I guess, always stay in the distance of 30 feet, 35 feet, right? While uh, making the silent image move towards that. And. You didn't move, only your owl did. Oh. I can't work my own no. And uh, yeah, and I use also my illusion to make uh, him shout, guys, hello, is anyone here? Like in a 12 voice. <laughs> uh, what's your spell DC? My spell DC? What the fuck do I even find? Uh, six, uh, 16. Yeah, what's your spell casting set, basically? Uh, mm -hmm. Intelligence, he has 20 on it. Yeah, so that's a 5. Plus your Pl proficiency. Plus which is 3 plus 8 so 16 yeah. oh here spell safety C or uh... 16 yeah yeah let's see what did I say 35 yeah so up to here I guess you see one of them begin to approach the dummy <laughs> really? Okay. I was expecting them trying to stealth kill it. Okay. But like, he reaches about here. Are you trying to move the dummy? Or the dwarf, I mean? Like, what, wait, I, do I see the enemy? But at this point, the dwarf would also probably see the enemy. Quote unquote dwarf. Yeah. So, yeah. You make yeah, it run away. Well. So I make it run away. What the actual? And then... <laughs> make it run away. He's slowly advancing. I'm gonna just casually walk away in my invisible state. Uh, uh, so what's your guys' plan? Yeah, well... I'm, I'm just waiting for Ash. I'm waiting for Ash and just fireball. Fireball. Yeah, so I'm also going, I guess, backwards. <laughs> but I, I'm just gonna keep this one running down here. Okay? Right on the gun. It's a stealth attack, so or at least yeah, it's roll. a hidden attack. Yeah, I'm roll. I'm using scorching right? knocking it out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the advantage with every single ray. Mhm. Mm awesome. Too, yeah. It's a stupid bot. It goes in a. Yeah. What's oh, going? you're getting so you're getting closer and closer to uh, twenty. And for the funds, one d twenty minus two. Minus nope. two. Yeah. Uh, alternate rules. All right. Yeah. Wild magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's nine. 18, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. As he reaches the corner, three rays of fire hit him and he instantly turns around, readying his sword. Uh, do, are the rest of you making any attacks? I... wait, the rays showed the path, right? Oh yeah. Can I stealth walk up to him? Yeah, you'd remain stealth. Okay. Because so... he, like, as the rays hit him, he's not looking in that direction, so he doesn't see. Yeah. So, that would be... Through a wall, of course. Should we adjust the initiative yeah. to see who of us does this thing first? This is a surprise round. You can just... Yeah, but it makes a difference. That's if he's not... standing in front of it, my attacks my hit it, right? No, whatever. Right. Yeah. Advantage. Rapier. And sneak attack. That's 25? Yep. Holy yeah. fucking shit. You uh, way too much in minimum. Anyone else doing anything? Uh I'll we'll just grab this in one go. Whatever. Did, did he look like he took a lot of damage when this 
you you would you are preparing this attack. So the second he turns the corner, all of you are doing the same. Yeah, but I'm just asking if he took. Did he seem to take a lot of damage from the? That's what I'm saying. You, he hasn't taken any damage least... while you're doing this attack. He's gonna take it all at the same time. Yeah, yeah he does. Basically. All of this happens simultaneously. Basically. Oh. As Ash throws the fire, uh, the scorching rays. You shoot an arrow. I dash in to. Well, not dash. Yeah, it's a dash because I'm sneak dashing. I sneak uh, in to stab. Well... And Argar point, is what Argar does. At my point, I might as well fire two arrows at him then. Okay. Exactly. Uh, um, 20 to hit. Both are with hit. advantage. Uh, that's... Oh, advantage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. It only just higher. Uh, so then... A... A plus what? Oh, a car... Why does it do the thing? Uh, 12 plus 5, uh, 17 damage with the first one. Okay. And then second one is 23 to hit. Hits. Uh, for 15 plus 4, 19 damage. Okay. In this instant, the second he turns to the corner, he kind of is looking directly at the door. Suddenly, three bursts of flame poof, 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 all along his side. He turns around. A rapier suddenly appears, seemingly from nowhere, right through his chest. Ulven, your ray of frost just climbs over, totally freezing up his chest and around his head. And all uh, and Lester, your arrows just shatter him. <laughs> As he just bursts into uh, pieces of ice scattering along the floor. He is oh, yeah. very, yeah. very dead. I then, I then become very visible since I did an attack. Yeah. Yeah, I guess my stealth is also broken, so I'm just the... Uh... <laughs> I do the yeah. simple surprise of grabbing the hat. Boom! Surprise, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> Let there be light. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Uh, and you take the head out again, right? Yeah, I grab the light from my backpack. <laughs> Do I... What was the range on that? Like 20 feet, right? 40. 20. 20, 20. Yeah. 20 bright, 20 Normal, limb, 20. so 40. I'll just... I just melee attack anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Notice any magic that comes off this guy or no? Yeah, you see you see the same effect that you saw before. Uh, of the bright light. Uh, like even off the as he scatters into like a billion pieces, along with the pieces are pinpricks of bright light that fade away. Oh he's shiny. I well, want yeah, none of the rest of you see this. Only less than Only I, I do. I want to move next to him and then um, do a perception check if more enemies are coming. I want to loot him. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities! Looting now. Whatever armor he had has now been frozen and completely shattered. Ooh, All of his possessions, entire body has just been broken to shit. There is nothing left of him. You can get a tail. With that, nothing seems to be coming. You can get a tail. <clears throat> you know. Money! Okay, I'm stealthing right behind this quarter. Okay. Stealth? Uh, Everyone is rolling stealth stuff. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Uh, that means I have to hide the head again. Uh, yeah. I'm rolling stealth as well. Oh wait, wait, fuck that. Up. And that, and that, that, that was a. That's an eleven. Yeah. Just type eleven. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna. To... It's gonna be very annoying for you, Derp, to just remove the light again. Uh, so just, it's fine. Just no. I was gonna say just let it. I know I have ten feet. Okay. Or create a token, and then we will just yeah. put it in the wall. In a... huh. Would it cost me an artist art? Evade and exist. Disappear. Yeah. Next time, don't give the the rogue 
advantage on stealth. <laughs> Hey. The ring ranks out of his power. <laughs> you do realize that <laughs> had he rolled the 10, which he would, I would he still would have roll 21. Still. I would still roll higher than you rolling an 18. <laughs> no, not really. What would, it, what would pay you a net 1? His net 20 is a 26. Mine is and... a 31. No, no, what would a natural 1... If you roll for stealth, twelve. Uh, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you guys doing from now? You've all stealthed up. Okay. Did you? I didn't stealth, did I? Oops. You did. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Most I gonna. Stuff. I gonna um. Contr Wait. Can I use my? No. Can I use my? Uh, Silent image. Well, I can change it so that it moves, but could I change the complete form of it? Probably that, not. You'd have to get rid of it, right? it. Slot, right? So I would need another spare slot, right, yeah. to do it. Uh, okay, no, I'm not going to do it. So I'm gonna con you continue use my dwarf dummy and just make it walk in front of me, but this time without the sound. Just. And apart from that, uh, should I just stealth also? I mean, what's the disadvantage? Just why? Why would you roll with disadvantage? No, no. What's the advantage of stealth? Like uh, the disadvantage of stealth, just moving slower, right? Half speed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. If I yeah, want... we aren't in turns though, so. So whatever, like, I'm gonna try to yeah. do that as well, uh, even though I'm probably gonna fail. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably gonna fail, becomes invisible. How many nat 20s have there been this session? One, oh two, three, nothing. But yeah, holy shit. I've, you guys are no, rolling no. really well, and then I've rolled, really poor, like, I've rolled three crits. Two on stealth, and, like, and one health. on strength. Four. Uh, and don't two worry. Fails. We next session will will be rolling shit. Oh. Uh, so, so yeah. Where are you guys moving to now? Uh, Go forward. Along that the way, I will thing. move my. What is this? Five nat twenty so far. What is this? Jeez. That's a light. A light. Also five. I'm gonna just let them go ahead. Okay. okay. I did say. Okay. Am I supposed enemies. to see this guy? Yes, there's light what? sources. Yeah. Those, no, those, those but are... uh, wall. I mean, um, the... yeah, wall. There's a thing. Yeah. The, 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 these are like half walls. Okay. Yeah. So like the the darkness is the uh, is the main wall of the cabin. This is all basically rubble that has collapsed over the years. Yeah. So, um. This is all than moving the dwarf, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm staying here. Well, you'd see them anyway as they both, as this one charges out and attacks it. Which scatters it. No, Which, yeah. it doesn't scatter it. It just goes straight, it goes straight through it and it knows what's up. Yeah, uh, yeah. now it can see through. The other ones can. Attack! And, and then yeah. look, Fire. down the tunnel, but with all of your stealth rolls, it doesn't seem to notice you. And this one comes out and uh, goes to inspect you, it. You know, Felfit only has an 11, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's kind of dark. Ash? Yeah, Ash. we are. The, the perception the... rolls were 6 and 3, so. <laughs> Ash, hmm. fireball. <laughs> fireball. Fireball. Wait, that's, fireball. A, that's a 20 fireball. foot range, right? Fireball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fine. Just hit the guy in the back. Wait, both, right? No, the, if you hit the guy in the back with fire ball, that's 20 feet and will incinerate this area. It doesn't have to target on the Oh feet. my dear goodness, 31 damage. Here. Yes. Go on. Bell. Derp. Yeah. Boom. 20 yeah, I see it. Do they, ha <laughs> Do they have disadvantage because they didn't mm. see it coming? I mean, they rolled, they rolled a 6 and a 9, so they both fail. So this goes on top of, uh, like, 
it goes in, it hits the ceiling as well, so... Depends if it's a 20 foot high ceiling, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it yeah. depends if Therp wants to make everything go down to shit. Oh, right. The <laughs> yeah, it collapses up and it thing. begins to shudder against the cave, but it, and um, dust and pebbles, which has long since just been uh, on the roof, begins to fall on all of you. But it, uh, it manages to retain the shape, it doesn't collapse. I forgot we are in a cave. We're gonna just. <laughs> As both of the, the creatures get smashed away. And when it dust settles, only a dwarf stands there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as the, the dust comes down from the ceiling, it eventually fades, and you see both of them. Now, both of them have their swords, which have been lit on fire, and flame swords. So they're both now dual-wielding fire swords. Wait, they are alive? Firing arrows! They, they, do, have, do, do. they have a metal sword that's covered in flames, and they have a sword made of flames. Yeah. Try hard. Fire and a sword of fire, basically. So can I can I fire two arrows at the close? Yeah. Yeah. You still have advantage. Right. Oh, ooh, eleven. Is that with advantage? Yeah. Oh, no, I which one? That one and a four. On the first guy. Yeah, that was the first arrow. Eleven hits. Eleven hits, really. Wow. Shouldn't be wasting no <laughs> fireballs on this shit. Uh, 9, 13, uh, 18 damage for that one. Uh, second one then. Oh, two 16s. Two knuckles, so then that's 23 for both of them. Yeah, it's a 23 for that one. Five hits. For an extra. Oh. 8 plus. Oh, nine damage. I rolled so badly for the damage there. Yeah, uh, he was on one HP, so... <laughs> you see the arrow streak out. Zing, zing. The first one hits him right dead in the chest, and he just freezes for a moment, looks up, the second arrow catches him right between the eyes, sending him back. He falls, collapses on the floor. And again, less do you see the same effect. That as the fire fades, the uh, particles of light go with it. Hmm. Thank you. I didn't have sneak attack if I attacked one of them now, because there's an ally within five feet of them. <laughs> but now so... that this, now that this guy is dead, <laughs> guess what? But so now, Evan uh, and Asa, you get, you both get uh, attacks. Yeah. Uh, Would I get first because I don't have to run up because I can just do a, a ray of frost? Yeah, but my dex is plus five. Yeah, but we didn't yeah. run in roll initiative. True, but still. Because this is a surprise round. Yeah. They weren't paying any attention, and then you threw the fireball. Lester fires his arrows. Yeah, I said all the same. Take their turns before they have the time to react. Yeah, so basically it's at the same time, and mine is just a very simple, so you can roll at the same time. Argo. Whatever. Yeah. That's not how surprise rounds work, but I'm. I'm... Yeah. It surprises... Yeah. Let's just let's just continue. I hold back for. Doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, advantage. So... I'm gonna wait, so I hope my axe Oh yeah, you still need to put the axe on the guy. There we go, 20 damage. <laughs> Stab. Bolt one. I can get 19 overkill. And disengage. Okay. Fatality! That's 20. Uh, okay. You run up and stab him, uh, it just catches on his armor and goes into him, but not far enough to do to any serious damage. And you just dash away before he has time to react. It's not that. Oh wait, I have plus 10 disengage movement. Yeah. One, two. <laughs> okay, in that case, uh, a freaking ray of frost, I guess. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> And another 12. <laughs> another 12 on that guy? Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's 10 foot. Now everyone roll initiative. Okay. How is... What? Yeah, we can only see two enemies. No. 
But how is that guy still alive? Ah. Okay. Oh, who was that? So, oh, he's oh. <laughs> real then. Recoil from the spell. The owl has advantage uh -huh. on initiative. Does it? Why does, does it? Doesn't matter. He rolled two tens. <laughs> <laughs> You probably rolled your last roll with the owl at yeah. at advantage. So wait, let me do in the settings that it changes back automatically. Where is it? There. Yeah, I didn't re-roll my stealth after the attack, so. So you would kind of hidden. Yeah. Isn't this guy dead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so, 15 yeah. movement. I forgot to do. 11 hits, no. right? Does not hit. It did hit earlier. This is there a were, guy. Yeah. Uh, there was three uh, mm. Silithar in total. Two of them had very light armor. This one has heavy. royal okay. heavy armor. Right. Oh, so uh, is the king. That's 15. So I have 15, 25 movement. So yeah, you run up and you just go into strike and he just easily, he deflects you with armor on his arm. He just deflects you with the back of his hand. And yep. you just instantly run away. Wait, what about South, uh, Snake's death? Oh no, he didn't hit, never mind. Yeah, there's a cross on. Uh, yeah. Ash. Firebolt two. Firebolt sixteen just manages to hit thirteen damage. That's damn. Oh, he's the fire. Yeah, he was on twelve hit HP. <laughs> so just enough. As fireball hits him, he doesn't have enough time to react when dealing with acid. He just turns and takes it full in the face, and you just see him take the fire, kind of stand for a second, and then eventually collapse. Ha! Surprise! So that one's surprisingly better than I thought it would. Sweet. Okay. Cool. What is this thing? Loot. So you guys now, Nothing. all of you see four braziers. I want the fire sword. This one is the only one that's on fire. I want the fire sword. The, the, the pure fire sword vanishes. Yes. Because that's, that's, a, that's their sword? spells. Yeah, the, the the short sword, the fire effect goes. Okay. okay what what I'll do I loot from the from the rich guy? Yeah. From the guy. Uh, Asa, what's your AC? My AC. Seventeen. Yeah, this would give you sixteen AC, and give you heavy armor. So it doesn't actually improve your AC at all. Yeah, he don't. He I, doesn't want heavy armor. But th there even, is one one I, guy. Who might I can't. I can't even wear heavy armor. I just exactly. want loot. Uh, and on the I little guy, money. it's pretty shitty. Yeah, but, it's just uh, a, a short sword and some very basic. Loot. Yeah, but I do loot him for Take the, the, high, the heavy, 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 heavy snake armor. Okay. I'm short sword and what? Was there money in it? No, neither. Uh, none of the creatures have money on them. Okay. They don't need money. Why, why would they have it? Uh, I'm picking up the torch. It the torch when you go to lift it up, it seems to be buried at uh, like the bottom of it. It seems to be buried in the ground to prevent it being lifted. Right. Okay, braziers, right? So, it, <laughs> is it, does it feel like it's attached, or is it just like completely just? I would have it, to dig it out. You'd have to dig it out if you really wanted to get into it. Alright, I'm gonna spend a lot of time trying to dig it out then. Uh, Strength check, I guess. Okay, what That's 17. Plus... Two. Oh, uh, plus 3. Uh, 20. 
You manage to dig down, but the, the further you dig, the further this uh, this pole goes, and eventually it just doesn't seem to find anything. You get like up to your waist height, and there's still just more pole. Mm. It's Actually, fire. Uh, well, uh, okay. He's, but you See, were, the storage you, fire vaulted. You were messing with the flame on that bridge. Yeah. Then. I I want to mess with this first though. What are those red things again? Sorry. These are smaller braziers. Okay. I want to see if I can make left. it burn more. Uh, so when you come over here, you see a grand gate with two Siddhartha etched onto the doors. Um, their spears have crossed, locking it. Hmm. Okay. All right. I shall... I'm, I'm going to use my brain, so bear with me. Okay, I'm smart enough <laughs> what? to understand the puzzle, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you don't understand that there's four braziers that you've seen, it's all uh, braziers and a big door that's locked. It's pretty obvious what's going down. Yes! <laughs> but wait. I didn't even have to roll for that. Well, yeah, but your character is yeah, supposed it's to a, be the it's smart a... one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, all of them is supposed to be the smart one, I think. The, the super yeah. yeah, but he's the yeah, but one. so far, I'm the hey. only one that's actually solved them. Not true. Look, I'm just I a mean, guy. I'm just a I guy that stabbed all of your asses when I... the wall was closing in from a fucking riddle. You that's just true. jack shit. But that was a shit riddle anyway. No. It didn't make any I, I opened it. <laughs> yeah. It was, to... it... it was all me. It was the sacrifice of the toot. I fire bolted. Yeah. Anyway, until it opened, I finally understand the riddle. Although I've only seen three, uh, two braziers. Have I? Hold on. You would only have seen the one in the bottom. Bottom. No, you, you've that seen one, three. That one. Like, you, you've seen three. No, you've seen three. I've. I've you've seen... seen the one in the bottom left. You would have walked past the one in the bottom right, which wasn't hidden, so that, you would have that, at least that recognized was, yeah, that. That was a thing. I've seen it. Yeah. That one I And then crossed. this one you've seen. Oh, did I? Yeah, I can barely see it. Yeah. But I haven't seen... Like, you uh... would have had to walk past here, and you would have definitely seen it. Yeah, that one is in line of sight, technically. So, okay, I know of three braziers. Ash, did you like the torch on fire? Mm -hmm. Sure. Ah, guys! Puzzle! Fuck. <laughs> I solved it! Uh, what, which one do you fireball? Uh, whatever Lester wanted me to fireball. The metal torch I was talking about, I was digging at. The, the torch is on fire. The brazier works. Oh, the torch is on fire? Yeah, the torch is on fire, the brazier is not. Oh! Right, can I just conjure arrows and use one of my arrows to just light the thing then? Uh, are your arrows, conjured arrows made of wood? I mean, they're just ordinary arrows. So yes. Actually, like, you, you can put arrows into it, but uh, arrows don't really carry the flame. They just burn. Like, you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to just stick an arrow in a flame, and for the arrow to catch fire, the wood would just burn away. But would it not catch fire? No. You'd need to wrap fabric around the tip, and oil probably yeah. to make sure that it stays lit. So, um, I'll just, just firebolt the fucking thing. Okay. So you uh, firebolt the fire. Brazier. The firebolt just dissipates before it even hits the brazier. Again. No, it's, it's, it's again. Oh, I do. I actually do have a handful of plants. So I'm going to wrap around that and then like... Right, does anybody have any oil? Why don't we just use the torch to lit them? Oh, I can't move the torch. Yeah, the torch is buried, like, ha most of the torch is buried underneath the ground, and it's, like, firmly stuck. And it's, like, oh. and it's, like, waist deep and still going. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know what? Can I get close to it, Zerp? Yeah. Okay, how far close? Can I, like this? Yeah. Okay. Stick your hand in it. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can climb up, can't you? Yeah, he has climb up. Yes, I have. Twenty feet yeah. climbing. Yeah. Easy enough. 
just climb up to it. So you just go well, yeah. after a while, you eventually get a spark and the brazier lights. Boom. See, was it this, that difficult? This one lights on fire. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, just down I'm, again. I'm, I'm just going to sit down and uh, be like a kid that's not. Uh, that's very annoyed because no one was listening to me because I said I knew what the buzzer was. <laughs> the fuck was that? That, that, yeah, that was a hyena he copied from the bottom brazier, which acts as a light source. Yeah, I'm just using those as light sources. Do, 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 do. Back to the other one. I'm yeah, being, I'm being I ignored. <laughs> You're doing you. Everyone is I, doing the I right had thing. A, I had a stroke of genius, and instead of being acknowledged, everyone ignores me and does things. So I'm just <laughs> gonna sit here on my ass and not give a shit anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, no one basically gives a shit. I, uh, okay, cool. I already knew that. Uh, okay, so. Now, now, gonna do the, the same shit. Right. Again. So, mm. scream, <laughs> scream, <laughs> right behind us. So there's a room. Would I be able? To, would I understand how to use the room? There, there are four, four different rooms etched into the, into the the brazier itself. Right. Would I know what they are at all? Well, you, you've done a knocking check, so you know that the rooms are definitely tied to a contraption, which is keeping the uh pot above the brazier uh, up there but yeah you'd have to roll i guess investigation to see if what they are directly right i'll do that then or just uh roll perception oh, okay roll perception yeah oh that's cocked uh it wasn't cocked it was just a bad roll <laughs> no it legit it, i accidentally rolled it in my dice so it was like uh, hold on, I'm just gonna stand here so stream actually sees what actually is happening. Uh, that's 11 for perception. You look around and really happening. there seems to be a lot of little alcoves hidden within the walls. Okay. Uh, so there's like a. Uh, there's like about 20 different alcoves. Hmm. Can I remove the runes? You can, like, try. can I Can I go try and pick one out? Um, the runes are etched into the statue itself. It seems to have like um, it yeah. seems to have like a, like a a little protrusion which it's etched upon, but it's still part of the statue. It's not like a piece that can be taken out. Ah, right. That's what I was trying to figure out. Literally, like the piece I could actually just take out. Uh. How about just touch? What I'm gonna just touch each of them, see if anything happens. Nothing happens. You, you sense that they're magic just from the contact, but nothing does that. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out this puzzle. I'm not exactly sure. They're, these runes here are linked to the thing that's being kept up there, but I don't know how. Can I try to climb it? You can climb up on top of the brazier, but you cannot climb up onto the pot. How high is the wall? I mean, as a V-line, could he not jump? How, how, how high can you jump? He can climb oh. 20 feet for free with his claws. So that means he can climb walls that are steep. The, the brazier, even though on this it's up against the wall, there is like... There's enough of, of a gap, so he can't... You can climb up that wall, but then you can't reach the pot. How, how big is it? How high can you jump? Yeah, you you're gonna say plus five. <laughs> Roll oh, you said it's sixteen feet high. Roll do you do you want to put numbers behind it, or do you want to just take my word for it that you can't get to the pot? Roll, sure. perce roll perception to see if you can get the number out. Because I, I I was going I I was going to use misty step. If I couldn't to get 30 plus 30 feet more. 
Oh well. If anyway. I can't get to it, I can't get to it. Can I shoot it with an arrow? <laughs> you can try. It. He doesn't want it. Uh, twenty-five. As your arrow streaks towards it, it easily is totally on target up until it reaches the base, and then splinters in a magical uh, effect as it just scatters across the room, and you lose the arrow. That's a good thing I used a conjured arrow. Aha! Conjured arrows for the win. Um... Okay. <laughs> so I go also go up, um, guys, what's going on? Did you solve the riddle already? No, we are very confused. I'm going away. I'm gonna see if I can spot crap. Wait, Bye. I'm gonna tell to, um... I'm gonna tell to Ash before he goes, can you go back to the first razor, the one with the pressure plate, and just put something heavy on it so it stays lit? Oh, I can try. Don't worry, I rolled shit perception so you could possibly see the stones laying around there with just your passive perception. Uh, bra. Where are you? Hold on, where are you going? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm looking for you. <laughs> I'm still sitting on my ass because people weren't listening to me. Man. Because nobody cared. Uh, <sighs> Can I look around the room right. to see if I see anything more? I Can also come and investigate the. Because I feel like I'm missing something. They are being idiots. They are not doing anything productive. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna help him look around in a room. Let's do it like uh, this. Perception. With advantage because you're helped. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, 14. You see faint glows within the alcove. Oh, over the alcoves, but. Is this a dead of is this a dead of boy puzzle? Ah, uh, what? Ah, <sighs> God of War. Yeah, dead of boy. What boy that? of that? What even is alcove? Can someone? It, it's basically a uh, a bit of uh, empty ah, space okay, in rocks. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna mm -hmm. go to the first puzzle then. Boom! I'm gonna stick my hand in one. I didn't really hear earlier what this puzzle looks like, so... It's runes. There's runes it's on, runes runes on the thing, on. thing, and then there's apparently, now that you've looked around, he sees the magic effect that's also on the runes in the uh, empty rooms, things in the walls. Okay. Which made me think of the God of War puzzles where you need to find the runes and hit them with your axe. I mean, I can try to hit them with Ray of Frost. <laughs> you don't see, you see glows in way more than four. Sorry. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a just Where are you? I'm a I, to, I instantly went to a brazier. Yeah, I want to just start hitting some of them or putting my hands in them. Or okay. whatever it takes. Are you just going to do it one by one? Bottom left. Yeah. yeah. Number one, just and check. After... You eventually manage to find four runes in four different alcoves, but it takes you about ten minutes to reach inside, look around for every single one. Has hmm. an hour passed since the hat has been set to light up? Uh, I'd say so, yeah. Remove, remove my light. Well, oh, no, no, the, no light less the head in it. Light less an hour. Mm -hmm. Place the head in it. No, it doesn't. It, it goes away when I say it goes away. It lasts forever. Wait, what? Yeah. But the light mm -hmm. that I just saw on... You touch one object no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. Object set bright 20 feet and... Oh, what? The light cantrip. Casting time, one action range touch. Duration, one hour. Yeah. Wait, where? Uh, the, yeah. compa the compendium on 5th uh, edition. 
The mm. wiki. Uh, yeah. And just a compendium on. Yeah, the, dura oh. the duration is instantaneous. Oops, yeah, instantaneous is more like the casting time. Oh. That it now it takes effect, but it costs you an entire action too. You probably dragged it on top of another country and it overlapped. Yeah, something like that will probably Maybe. have happened. Roll twenty does that sometimes. Anyway. Uh. So. so yeah. Lester, you eventually find the four, the runes within the archives. Yeah. And then. Would I be able to match them up? Like, would they? Do they have matches? Yeah, you find, um, if the ones that you can look in, they seem to be small uh, stones etched with the same runes, glowing faintly. The other alcoves that are glowing are just duds of just like a, a solid circle of glowing light to try to laugh. But. Uh, what were you trying to do? I lost my train of thought somehow. That of like, uh, do, do they match? Or can yeah, I yeah, yeah. You, you can visually see about two of them, and the two match. Can I roll yeah. investigation to see if they are in any order on the, like, on the brazier or wherever they are? They, well, they would be in an order. Okay, then I suggest that we press them in order. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would. I would start doing that then. So like, uh, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and I would just touch them in the order. The... I'd just be touching the okay. ones in the walls. After you do that, nothing seems to happen. Okay. Hmm. I would try it with. Uh, let's see. Like, I don't know. I, with magic, I like put. A, yeah, my owl does. No. Um, just a simple, I don't know, a simple spell on them to see if they react to magic. Let's say, uh, Change their why not uh, instant light or snap out of candle? So I would say, like, make a small flame, like, just them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, since it technically took them 10 minutes to uh, find the runes, can we use those 10 minutes to get here and start moving stones that yeah, we found yeah. around? So we'll... Strength so... with advantage because Velvet is helping? It's it's not not that heavy. There are a couple oh, of heavy well. rocks, but yeah. you wouldn't have to roll. Yeah. So then roll perception again after clearing where they're. Assay is assay isn't that heavy. Uh, do I get? We just this need to get an assa. Do I get disadvantage because I can only see like ten feet and it's pitch black technically? Uh, if Ash is helping you, then it would just oh. be a straight roll. All right, straight roll. How do you manage to fail that DC? <laughs> Why are you so bad at wisdom? Hey, my wisdom is a plus. You begin plus clearing zero. out all the rubble, and all oh, right, yeah. It just seems to be just. It seems to be an unending cascade of rock underneath. Oh well, but at least the brazier is lit, right? It is not. Oh, well, it's lit because uh, Ash is standing on it. Yeah. So wait, that doesn't give me decep. Uh, no, oh, it no, keeps yeah, it so give you an advantage, sorry. Yeah, that I... gives me light, so advantage. So yeah, another straight just perception. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <What>? I didn't <laughs> notice. That is just enough. As you're digging through, you begin to uncover some form of idol, almost like a statue. And you manage to clear a way after finding it, and it seems to be a statue of a, a silithar with a, a crown on its head. Is the crown made out of gold? I was about to ask, what's the statue made of? It's just carved the stone. Lame. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a boring old statue. With my 13 int, I determined yeah. that the statue needs to go on the plate. <laughs> so I'm gonna try pulling it. Okay. That, uh, is, that is a straight check. strength. That would be, because it's pretty <laughs> you lift it up with like one finger, just that easily, just move it over. Push. Oh, there it is. And I've set and it on the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yep, so now I can see. Hooray! 
Let there be light. I'll move now. Yes, you can move. The statue is basically uh, there. Wait, is it? Is this some kind of tower, like the other ones? It's also yeah, an it's eight foot height. It's the same eight foot brazier. Okay, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but my browser is dropping frames like crazy. Uh, that's probably the dynamic lighting. Don't worry about yeah. it. Okay, let's let's go and move. So, to ask back, I guess, did the uh, runes react to like uh, the prestigitation to some magic? They doesn't seem to have any effect unless there was direct contact with them. I see. Wait, are are you are you coming? You touch them. Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, if I your am, spell touches them, but the but magic you... enemy is dispelled. But you are forgetting that I am blind, basically. You're following me. Yeah, but that doesn't work if you run out of my line of sight of 10 feet. Oh yeah, it's that. The, this, that uh, we are not gonna see it anymore, so just just disable it because it's it's fucking with the game with the game. Yeah, with the frames. Yeah. And we and we know the basic yeah. layout of the map. Yeah, you've been everywhere else. And there's no enemies and. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna tell uh, Ulven to keep his hands touching two of the runes, and I'll be using my two to touch the other two runes, so we're all contacting at the same time. In the the way that they are positioned, that is impossible. Oh. If they're not within arm's reach of each other. Right. Uh, is there, it's it's twenty alcoves over. What is that? Thirty foot, thirty five foot wall. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, then I'm gonna just wait until the other two arrive to then get them to do the same with others. Uh, I can there's, use... there's only one issue. What? I can't cast magic. Yeah, we don't need, need you to cast magic. We just need you to hold your hand in a certain place. No, no, no. It reacted to magic. It didn't react to touch. Well, do we need magic in this it, it, it dispelled magic. It made oh, magic effect. Yeah. yeah. You get rid of the effects. That I misunderstood simply. Yeah, yeah we just How big are the so Can I use my owl? <laughs> your, your owl would, would, could be able to squeeze through. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <still need. laughs> but like, no, actually, he could wiggle his way in, but sure. he'd need help being pulled back out. I'm not gonna do it because my intelligence tells me. My owl is a spell, and it dispels spells, so no! <laughs> is, isn't it a summon? Uh -huh. Not a ma- it, the, the owl itself isn't magic, right? It is. It is? Yeah, it's not a normal owl. It's yeah, it's weird. magical. It's a magical okay. pet. It itself is a magical thing. Can I light up a torch for Asa? Oh wait, I have torches myself. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you do! <laughs> I don't want it to, is though. the spirit that takes on an uh, animal uh, form. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so it's... Yeah, it's better. Yeah, but I know this one is lit, so we have light here, so I can... Whoop, 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 whoop. Shouldn't we light up this one? Or no, is it that... cool? Argard lit, lit that one up. That's the first one that got lit. I don't know. I wasn't listening. Yep. This it was one. the water one. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, at, when I, I'm waiting for them, I think I'll call for them to, and then tell them to do, then we're all gonna do it. Do what? Uh, I'm, I'm put your hand to uh, put a hand and touch a rune. Why? Because it will make fire happen. possibly going to solve the puzzle. I'm telling him it will make fire happen. So how are you getting our attention again? Just calling out when I see you go up past. But you can't see as of the light. Yeah, I would be standing here this entire time. Yeah, he's like, wait he's actively time. waiting for you. There you so. go. Yeah. Be because you were standing over here, and then it's just simply, yeah, you can see us. Yeah, then so I'll yeah, call from out. there you call out. Guys. Yeah, and then I call out. And then just do, do, do whatever. Also, our guard. Yes. <laughs> no, I believe you. I believe you, unless you roll a one in, in deception. 
It's you, not deception. It would be persuasion because I actually believe it will yeah, make fire yeah. happen. It's, it's not, not lying. It's, it's not a lie. They believe that it will light the brazier, so that would be persuasion versus insight. Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay. Put hands somewhere. Yeah, where? Yeah. It just they they point out the outcomes. Yeah. Uh, I tell you where to put your hand in, and then I then I put my hand in. Okay. The new you one do does it the same, same time. Way. Yes. And nothing. After you count down three, two, one, all of you put your hands in. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay. We all die. A giant boulder smashes all of our heads in. No, 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 think about it. I attack the rune. The rune shatters, and the and the rune on the the statue moves back into it. It's now uh, flat against the the statue. God damn it! What did he do? Shut up! I, so we we just needed to break them. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it! I'm breaking mine then. Dad, <laughs> dad of boy. Uh, easy enough. Just, just like you, you'd have to use one of your arrows. So that's fine. Yeah. So I'm just I using go over. I'm using another conjure deck. Yeah. Okay. This is perfectly yeah. fine. I got. You I got have them for days. You smash in again. The rune you smash up against uh, the statue. Argard and Fell, you guys have melee weapons, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Your one. You smash your quarter stuff in, but it just doesn't break. Just, <laughs> just we... hit it again. There's like a big crack down the middle, but it hasn't smashed. I'm gonna hit it again. <laughs> there it goes. The first one doesn't hit it, the second time, straight there. Buffett, you manage to push your dagger in, and it breaks almost all of it, but it remains intact. So, fire pop shit. Damn. The second Head one damage, just, max damage. It turns to dust with that. Boom. It's gone. You guys hear all the full runes back into it. And let there be flames. The pot falls down onto the razor. It's now lit. Oh, yeah, by the way. Awesome. Did, did you point at the. At where the rune was, or did you have some sort of light or anything? Because I'm blind as a bat. Like yeah. he would have led you over. To oh. the <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. And before you run away, too late. <laughs> I will instantly walk away. Yeah, I give you permission to shoot at him. No, I, I, I wanted you to relight the hat. Oh, relight the no, hat. No, you you went you went away. Oh yeah, <laughs> you could come over here and tell me that. Oh, I'm, right. I'm, I'm just... running after you with the hat stuck out. So at the <laughs> no, at the time, the tongue, the tongue of the head is now lolling outside the side of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, so I'm running at you ten feet at a time. Wait, wait, wait! Relight, please. Uh, all right, and I slap slap light back on it again. I'm using the tongue to bind it to my belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! I really want to ask Ellen to make art of your character now. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see this. Go in sun. Light on them. I forgot to announce that I was streaming. Oh well. At the end of the stream. Yeah, it's ten minutes now. As, as you reach this point, you see all four of the razors have now lit. I and know you it. see the 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 gate. It still re seemingly remains locked. The the spears are across it. I didn't know it. I'm just gonna jingle the gate. I'm just gonna Yeah. Kick it. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna push yeah, as you and step, pull the door. <laughs> as you step on the bottom step, it appears that there was not there was a pressure plate which wasn't there before. Which when you step on it, 
The spears come up, and the door begins to slowly open. Oh. It opens up, not all the way, it just like releases the tension, so it's now able to be opened. So it's on the it's crack now. Up. Yeah. You can't see through it, it's just like the doors have um, so shifted. I, I want to check the door for traps. Roll for it. Uh, with my teeth tools? Yep. Or... Uh huh. There is an alarm on this door that if anyone were to open it and it was not, it would send out a signal across whatever is behind it. You managed to find the tripwire. After a little while, you managed to just slice it through and the door is successfully dis, uh, disarmed. Disarmed, yeah. Safe now. And with that, I pull open the doors. It's a push, but yeah. Oh, you same, same difference. <laughs> Dark, pull Dark the door. Soul. Damn it. Push it. <laughs> there we go. The, Dark Soul style, very slowly. Yeah. And perception. Takes a minute and then finally push it open. We, even without the perception roll, you come out on a, a high point uh, of a cliff of a massive underground cave. Uh, and underneath you is a huge city. Oh. I was trying to do an echo. <laughs> How far does it go down? <laughs> Should I drop it my is, hat and see? <laughs> this is like a hundred foot. You're, there is a path that leads off to your left and curls along the side of the cave, but the city itself is about a hundred foot below. How are we seeing that? Because it's it's on fire. There's lights everywhere. This oh, is a very shit. brightly lit camera. Wait, wait, so, imagine an entire city so, just so, being sorry. in flame. Well, yeah. It's not like sorry. the building yes. What did you say? No, like there, it's a giant there, campfire with a bad luck. Yeah, no, of it. Bad Shit's luck, on fire. It's, shit's on fire. <laughs> the, the buildings themselves <laughs> aren't on fire. There's like, this, this is a very now. clearly defined road. It's basically a campfire city. And you see, um, in, in the far distance, is uh, basically Ash's wet dream. The biggest fire you guys have ever seen, but behind a large palace looking. How far away? <laughs> Can I hundreds and hundreds of feet. This Hell? is on the other side of the city. Is this? Hell? Is there a way down? Yeah, yeah there's a path that leads off. A path. Oh. That like is it's a piece cut out of the mountain so you guys can walk down the edge of the cave and go down into the city. Hundreds. So uh, not not thousands. <laughs> right? Uh -huh, about a few. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure the footage of an average city. So just take it on face value that it's a big ass fucking city. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I'm thinking is Argard casts levitate on myself, and then I use magic to fly across the entire thing. <laughs> you <gotta> throw you. <laughs> <laughs> and you could do a jet propelled by setting your boots yeah. on fire and using control <laughs> flame. I like it. And I could just, I could just hang in the ceiling because of the thing. D and D yeah. jetpacks. Fuck yeah. <laughs> boots <Mom>. of Hoover. <laughs> Boots of jet propulsion. <laughs> Have a... No, we anyway. made we made our own. Boots of jet propulsion. Fire. <laughs> and... Like ba like Bakugo style. Um, fireballs behind his hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sending him flying. Basically. In Avatar, the uh, uh, Fire Lord. Ozai. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to do perception or investigation on like um, what creatures people live in that city. You are or... too do, high up. To... Do you do you or have do you have binoculars? Like yeah, like you are really high up. You wouldn't be able to see anything. You would be, You can see that it's a city and there's buildings. You won't be able to see if there's any. Thing. And we can see a, a massive fucking fire. Yeah, this flame is so huge that even across the entire city you can yeah. see it. Uh, Conti uh, continuing I, I, I with the Dark Souls, continuing with the Dark Souls analogy of opening the door. Uh, we're basically we just arrived in Enerlondo. Yeah, pretty Com much. Compared to that, you're high up above the city. You, you. I, I realized in retrospect how Dark Soulsy this entire section was. It wasn't intended. 
but you just went through the Farron Swamp and have now arrived in Anor Londo, essentially. It, it looks as it was inspired. <laughs> I, I did this all unconsciously. But <laughs> I, I came up with a mine and a big city underneath the ground, and then I've only now realized how Dark Souls this actually is. Uh... Do all right, there's a bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so, have, have you not seen that giant flame? That's a fire! <laughs> so, you said there was a big fire behind the palace? Yes. Yeah, behind... Like, this building is four or five times bigger than every other building. Yeah, so... It's, it's, a, it's like a giant campfire behind it, like, on the attached to the back of it. That's called yeah. a bonfire. <laughs> yeah. Big-ass bonfire. Yes. Right. So I, I want to I want to go down the stairs at this point then. Okay. Can I roll stealth just to do yeah. a sneak away? Right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hide. Uh, eighteen. I'm eighteen. Gonna, yeah, I'm the type venture. I'm gonna do the same with hiding the head. Yeah. You can easily just put the head in the bag. Mhm. Mm oh man, I rolled an eleven. Oh wow, no! This, this is Only such a 11. shit roll. <laughs> Whatever we do now. Hide in the shadows. <laughs> okay, actually, uh, as you guys are heading down and begin to stealth, uh, Asa, uh, when you try and hide into the shadows, the sort of sandy effect that you'd normally see on yourself when you try and hide got, is gone. <laughs> Ash, look down, you see your necklace? The flame has gone out. On what? On? So Lester, I... your bow seems to have no effect on it. It just is now a normal bow. The images no longer move. Yeah, the book of gifts is now just a normal book. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no! It's no! Like, it's like a frozen gif. It freezes fr yeah. yeah, right. in the worst part of the drawing. Your, your internet awesome. connection broke. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, but uh, Derp, in, in that case... You'll right. have to, you'll have to count my stealth check as a nineteen. <laughs> oh no! Whatever. But do that in chat, because we're um, gonna we're gonna end the session of you guys going down into the city stuff. Also, then you forgot that he didn't need to put away the head in his bag because it just went out, right? No, no, no. Ooh, it's it's just the desert artifacts that lost their magic. Yeah, yeah. we're not um, in the desert apparently. Well, my character wouldn't know that. I just, out of character, got the conclusion all our desert artifacts stopped working no, I, for I, a I'm, bit. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cast light again on my hand just to check this. Yeah, it works. It works perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. My torch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my head. <laughs> He doesn't realize though it's in his back. Yeah, yeah it's true. in the back. <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 I can see him cast light. Yeah. So mm. I, so with knowing how it went, well, basically I don't need it since there's light everywhere. So I'll keep the head in my back. If I yeah, need a torch, I know how to find. If I need, uh, if I need a relight, I know where to find you. That's true. I, I do have a. And before we get catch, no, no, we are friends. Open oh, bed, bag, bag, bag. See, we just of one of their friends. No, um... no, no. Listen, there's a reasonable explanation for this. Smoke bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what's this um, light source? What? <laughs> Holy shit, so that's what my torch looked like. <laughs> mm, what would happen to Shade's thing? Would the blood just disappear? It just doesn't work anymore. He can't open it. Oh. <laughs> no, well, the it, it just pulls out. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what happens with a bag of holding? Oh no, yeah. In a bag of holding, the, yeah, it, it just like the, the pocket dimension doesn't exist anymore. So it just vanishes, you can't put anything in, and you can't get anything out of it. Yeah, but we've seen regular magic works, so it's probably just the desert artifacts. So uh, the, the vials Shade has, if he would join us here now, 
it would mean that his file would just be a regular file. Actually, I think you wouldn't really be able to open it at all. Close yeah, it, you could, you Plus, could the one I have a magic light is the only working change. Okay, so just as a quick note, I'm labeling all the items as broken, but I don't don't want that to imply like they can't be fixed. And like the, the physical um, items aren't actually broken themselves; they just stop working. But broken is the easiest keyword I can use. Yeah. I can't be moving pictures anymore. <laughs> yeah, disabled. You haven't even used it once. Yeah. So he one. has. He he has drew he? he drew one of the snake people in the last session. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Rip. I mean, we haven't seen that much cool. I would draw the fucking city, probably, or like uh, an outline of it, because that would look cool, but I guess it's broken. Okay, so, and specifically Lester, with the bow, the it's still a bow, so it still does the, the normal damage, but it doesn't have the extra 1d6. Oh, so it's still a 2d8? It's yeah. no, just... It's still, oh, a, it's still a pretty decent bow, it's just now it doesn't have the... 2d8? Oh, oh that's good. Yeah, it's like, it's a yeah. pretty... It's, I, for that, broken. I literally rolled 2d8 and a d6. So if I have a 100 mark and I shoot someone, I can do 2d8 plus 2d6 down That's and, it. Broken. and do that twice. That's it's like, amazing. isn't that like a barbarian's great weapon that's, plus that's like, another bonus attack of him? Yeah. That's like four, four attacks. Of a bow, a normal The bow. absolute max damage with, uh... uh... It's 8, 8, 6, 6, and your dex modifier for your 2d8. The, the max... Oh, wait. Should uh, be 24 on average. Plus 8. No, he, he wants the max. So, you have a plus uh, 4... Within one turn, with this bow alone, Plus uh, yeah. Hunter's Mark against a single creature, I could easily do sixty-four damage. Damn it, that's period and slash. Without Hunter's Mark, it would be fifty-two. Wait, so you can do twenty-eight, and that's without your Dex modifier on your damage, which I guess is a five. No, that's plus. Uh, I could add. Dex for damage? Yeah. Yeah, Dex to hit, Dex for damage. Dex for range damage. Strength for melee, Dex for range. Oh, my, no, my, uh, yeah, my dexterity is plus two. Plus two, so that's 30 on a, a regular attack with Hunter's Mark. So you can do at least 60 with a double attack on it. Yeah, but I also just... have a passive. I also have this uh, trait where I can add up half of my modifier, my int modifier, to damage rolls. Okay. So then, every single arrow I do has a plus four, uh, with my in so half of my intelligence plus my dex, which is plus four. Oh, so half so, your int plus dex. So yeah. it's thirty-two per arrow. Uh, on max damage because it's eight eight six six with hunter's mark, then plus your dex plus your int, that's plus four. So thirty two per arrow. Hey, by the way, Ulven, no, uh, roll, roll stealth. Okay. Unless if you're, you're joining the group and stealthing yeah. towards the city. No, it's it's twenty six because I have sixteen from the two d six two d eight. Then plus the ordinary 1d6, which is another 6, which equals 20. Look at what I did. Rolling 8 plus, plus 8 plus 6. Plus 6. That's with max damage on Hunter's Mark as well. Yeah, that would be plus Hunter's Mark, and then add an extra 4 would be 32. Yeah. So that ordinary so, arrow without Hunter's Mark is 26. With yeah. it is. You're still arguing over 32. this. It's, it's 32 damage an arrow max. So you can do yeah. 64 damage. 64, like I said earlier. You said 66. No, I said 64. I didn't say 64. 66. 
So, I don't know. I can do a shit ton of damage with this bow alone. Am I ever going to get this max damage? No. Uh, That'd be a fucking miracle. I do know there's... Uh, I don't know if that's Kage or Rogue. But if you have a sneak attack or a surprise round... And you hit, you roll max damage. Something like that. Uh, what was that? You cut out a little bit. There is a class, and I can't remember if it's Rogue, Kage, or another class. But if you have a surprise or sneak attack, mm. then you max if, if you hit, you have both a critical and max damage. Oh, oh yeah, with, plus, with if I roll on that 20, then that's everything doubled. So I can do 128 damage. Yeah. If I if you double if you double crit, yeah, double max damage. Yeah. So then, and otherwise a regular hunter's mark crit. <laughs> Doing the math here to see how much damage I can do with a single bow. It's well uh, into the hundreds. Plus eight. Uh, plus you do the max damage uh, on the map on how. Um, 4d6 and that would basically be your crit roll on damage yeah 80 fucking damage no 40 because oh, the fucking boogeyman it's the guy you get to kill the fucking boogeyman I'm assuming yeah. 30 is plus 40 plus... That, and this, this is one arrow. Yeah. That's one arrow, if I get enough to me. Uh... Yeah, I'm quickly gonna end stream. Yep. Uh... So, thank you guys for showing up. Uh, follow You're welcome. You... <laughs> Was my Discord still active? I thought I said thank you for showing up to stream. This is creepy because as I said thank you for showing up, you responded. Yes. Thank you for showing up and then you cut off. Asa? I'm Asa's dead. I'm spooked. <laughs> Can you Stop. cut out? What did you say? As I said thank you for showing up to stream. Derp said you're welcome. <laughs> okay. I got spooked. Uh, Alright. Uh, uh, and now hopefully without there being a creep. Thank you guys <laughs> for showing up. Uh, uh, hit that follow if you want. Yada yada yada. Weekly streams. Something something. Clever ending.